whatsoever. The cis rupture and just I live its best life and yeah, live my best life because we're just two different two different organisms apparently. Yeah. The regular girl, the regular, my girl, the regular girl, the regular. She's no regular girl. She's no regular. My girl, the regular girl. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, I've been gone for a very long time and I will try my best to be consistent this time. Try. I'll put my best foot forward. I've actually written down a list of video ideas that I have. So, I have content planned for a few, few weeks. So, I'll be here. So, on this video, we're going to talk about the time my mother thought I was pregnant. Yeah. Well, that's the time when I found out that I had PCOS. So, let's rewind a bit. So, when I was in ninth grade, you know, in high school, they have to go before the start of the semester and you have to go on medical, right? So, this was a Saturday and I think school was the next week. Our orientation was the next week. Or it was the week after. So, this was a Saturday. And I'm from Hanover, which you all should know by now. And we would go to Sav or Westmoreland to get back to school items. So, I knew the routine. I'd go for the entire day with my mother to Sav and we'd get back to school items and stuff. And then at the end of the day, we would come back and go to the doctor for me to do my medical. So, you know, a good girl, the baby. I didn't do it, number one. I held it like a G because I knew that I had to. Do my little medical to go back to school. So you know, um, left Sav, went to the doctor, fill out the form, everything, <clears throat> peed in my little cup thingy, went into the doctor. So the doctor's question, you know the routine questions, did you take <clears throat> it is way self? Some other routine things that I don't remember, but when was your last period? Is always a question for every doctor, no matter where you go to the doctor office to do, that is always a question. So that question came up and this was in August. I think my last cycle was May or June. So I hadn't seen my cycle for three months. So the doctor said you have to do a pregnancy test. I was like, I'm not pregnant. Virgin, not doing anything. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> so the doctor's like, well, you're gonna have to pay again for a pregnancy test. So I was like, okay. But mind you guys, hell, holding your pee for the entire day, and then there's a massive pressure come down by you to pee, pee again. You know, I didn't I, I didn't pee for until like two hours later. And it was just a little top. So my mom and my oh, why you had to make your door one pee pee? Um, all I need to do a pee pee and she go on, she go on, she go on, she go on, she go on. When I finally peed, the test was negative and as I knew it would have been because I'm not doing anything to be pregnant. So the test was negative. You know my mother, Jamaican parents, they don't apologize, right? So my mother just did it and she's the doctor. So he's like, oh, um, you're not pregnant. <clears throat> you may have PCOS. And you know the little routine of them telling us you may have this, you may have that. So I went back to school, whatever. Um, so that's how I found out that there was something wrong with my ovaries, slash hormones, slash that part of life. Thing. So, in all essence, this video is to talk about PCOS, how it affects me as an individual what signs and symptoms that I have and how do I cope with it and stuff like that. So that's what we'll be doing today. So first thing you may want to ask is, or you may maybe ask me like, what is PCOS? So PCOS is the acronym I've been using from my laptop because I don't know the definition. I just from my head. So 
PCS is the acronym and it stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. <laughs> is a hormonal disorder common among women of reproductive age. Women with PCOS may have infrequent or prolonged menstrual period or excess male hormones, hormones androgen levels. The ovaries may develop numerous small collections of fluid, follicles and fail to regular, regularly release eggs. The exact cause of PCOS is unknown, early diagnosis and treatment along with Weight loss may reduce the risk of long-term complications such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Um, so that is the definition of PCOS. And in a nutshell, it affects your ovaries, hormones, eggs, fertility, all of that. So I remember when I was at UTEC, I had to do a ultrasound. I went to like a pelvic ultrasound. Um, I don't remember the reason, but I did one. So I did a pelvic ultrasound to examine what was happening on my ovaries and my pelvic region. Um, so what the results showed me at that time was that my ovaries are enlarged. So you know your ovaries are supposed to be a particular size. I don't know what the size is, but my ovaries in particular are enlarged. And at the same time, the left ovary is larger than the right ovary. And at the same time, I have cysts growing on my ovaries. So that is what the confusion or the readings for my pelvic ultrasound read. Um, yeah. What symptoms do I have? There are some symptoms or there are some things that I really don't understand with my body and I'm not sure if they're PCOS related in terms of uh, sugar. Whenever I have sugary foods, the sugary drinks, I become lethargic instantly for long periods. I will be lethargic from 8 a.m. in the morning until roughly 5 p.m. just because I had too much sugar or had sugar at all. Um, whenever I have yogurt, yup, yogurt, lethargic gone oh my god i would try to be healthy and say okay i'm going to have yogurt in the morning the audacity because as soon as we finish eating the coconut yogurt the coconut yogurt is my favorite from a jamaican brand at least as a picture as soon as i'm gonna eat yogurt come on sleep with them but this i yarn down the place i'm gonna have the energy for do nothing. nothing. Listen to me, man. Energy wear. Wear. Um, whenever I have dairy, I get an upset stomach. Um, milk in particular and ice cream. When I have cheese, if I have a burger, um, I'm affected somewhat, but not entirely. If I go to if I buy fast food. And drink the soda gone so what I've opted to do now is I normally have fast food on a Friday I take my lunch to work every single day except on a Friday most times depending on what I decided to prepare so when I buy my combos I will opt for water and not drink the juice and that helps a lot um, what are my other symptoms acne Listen to me. I've had acne since grade nine, and I mean my skin looked horrible. You may see it in other of my YouTube videos. If I can find some pictures that focus on my face, I will insert a picture or a video. Honestly, for me, that was an insecurity. Um, I take pictures with filters because I don't like how my skin looks. Um, it has drastically improved. No, as you can see because I have a no makeup I will tell you why my skin is not clear in a minute um, what else I have I have weight that just sits on my stomach see you probably can see the bulge it's just right there and my arms yeah the weight it's like it's here to stay and I'm not for it um, I've tried working out I've tried not eating late I've tried eating healthier and listen 
persons with PCS will understand and can testify that no matter what you do, it is very difficult for us to lose weight. It is not as easy as it is for somebody who doesn't have this sickness. And as a result, when people come to me, they're like, oh, why you don't do this and why do that? It is very, very, very annoying. Don't try to push your healthy lifestyle on somebody and you don't really understand the underlying effects or the underlying causes as to why the person is if you want to say so for me if somebody who's very very athletic who loves the gym and lose weight if it comes to me like oh man why you doing this and i'm very annoyed i will listen to what you're saying and i'll say okay or i'll ignore you but at the same time i'm very very annoyed do you think i have one tried doing that really i see how you eat and i try and I ate how you eat and you have lost 10 pounds and I still weigh the same amount. I weigh relatively the same amount for roughly five years. I am my same weight. I may have fluctuated. So I may weigh 185, 183. And that is my fluctuating weight. Ever since I can remember, that is my weight. And it does not move. It's very, very annoying, right? What other symptoms do I have? That is for the most part. Acne. Um, I have a bit of excess hair. I have sideburns, which I don't mind. I have sideburns. I have a little bit of facial hair. I have like a mini mustache. And then I have one or two hairs that pops out under my neck. I don't have hair loss. I have a bald spot in the back of my head. Is it PCS related? I don't know. But for me, sorry, I don't know if I suffer from hair loss. I have a lot of hair on my, relatively a good amount of hair on my hands and on my foot. So I don't think I'm suffering from hair loss. But those are the major symptoms or, yeah. I spoke on the dairy aspect of how it affects me. I'm gluten, which is in almost everything um, is said to affect or can affect you with PCOS and I really, really recommend that you try to cut out gluten and uh, dairy also your diet to try to have a better life um, I cut out gluten for most part I buy gluten free pasta I will buy gluten free tortilla I try to buy cereals that are made from corn or chips made from corn. I try not to have wheat. I buy gluten-free oatmeal. I do not drink regular milk. I buy only almond milk because I actually don't like it. Um, yeah, I try to drink water. I really do try, but when it comes on to the, if I'm not hot, it is very difficult for me to drink water, um, which is really bad. I know. So what I've opted to do is to try to get those. Uh, two steels from Amway and you add them to your water and they're really good for you but it kind of flavors the water and I get it from my cousin-in-law sells them so I buy it from her um, store if you're interested you can send me a message on Instagram at Melzy and I can give you her details treatment so one thing you need to understand is that PCOS affects everybody differently so I have two friends who have PCOS one of them whenever she's cold she is in pain her cyst hurts okay they hurt they rupture she's always in pain yeah always um i've had a i've had cyst broken and i didn't know and the only reason i knew a cyst ruptured was because i had a ultrasound i started going to a new gyno it was two years ago yeah and i went to him and i was like giving him a rundown of what i have and this is me being serious about treating it because it needed to be treated even though i didn't want when you have a pcos your periods are irregular for me they're irregular that's one symptom that i had before treatment um i'd go five months with no cycle i'd go a year without cycle i'd see my 
cycle every five months which for me was a joy because i really did not care to have a cycle every month and that's one thing that i do not mind but it's not healthy for your body which is why they try to give you medication to help to fix that so i went to a new gyno cma medical i think i got that card i just know my doctor's name his name is dr jordan hardy i will insert um the instagram page in the description um so i went to him and you didn't have to give like this whole rundown of your medical and stuff like that so i did an ultrasound and in that ultrasound he was like um oh, were you in pain anytime recently was like oh, well there's liquid well there's fluid in your body where fluid is not supposed to be which means that one is is ruptured and i was like oh okay if you didn't tell me i would have known because i didn't feel any pain i was no i was in no pain i had no pain whatsoever the cysts rupture and just i live its best life and yeah live my best life because we're just two different two different organisms apparently yeah so ruptured i didn't know friend hers rupture and she 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 dies if the ace is too cold she cries if it's too hot she cries everything affects her and her period pains are immense yeah um so my first road of treatment was going on metformin i don't think i finished one box i told my doctor i wasn't taking any more I didn't like who it made me feel and um metformin is made for people with sh blood sugar problems and i've heard people saying that they have people on metformin and it's for them all like bug juice that's how small that is how drastic metformin is and the side effects that come with metformin i have another friend she was on metformin and she was depressed for months weeks this wasn't her full self everything affected her and i was like no we are not yet in the last stage i'm not taking it i think i had like one off the list you know when you get pills and you'd have like on the like five pill on one of the little things and then five more in the box i think it was on my last set on the paper and i think i still have it even to this day and i was like yo i'm not taking it anymore i don't i don't like how it makes me feel I didn't have any major side effects to metformin, but I didn't feel full 100, right? So I decided that we not do this no more. And then recently, this year, I was placed on, let me tell you how we got here, boo. So my cycle came one day this year. I don't remember what month. And my cycle went on for three weeks. Three weeks. To the point where I was asking my body if it knows that I will end this period forever because we are not doing this. I feel like I was on my cycle for three weeks. Mind you, I go to work every single day from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. I was on my cycle for three weeks. I cannot even survive seven days properly much less three weeks and on top of that I'm anemic because that my body is shedding things that it thinks we don't need because we need the blood sis we need it we don't have enough we need it but you are over here acting like this body belongs to you and doing what you feel like so that happened and I went back to my doctor and he prescribed that I'm 35 um, a lot of people may know that Diane 35, Diane 35 is a contraceptive, oral contraceptive that is used in the treatment of PCOS and it helps with acne. You see sister skin, you see my skin, and that is the power of Diane 35. Diane 35 cleared up my skin immensely. So I have a friend, she's like, no my is so nice. His skin is I'm not like, you sure? You sure? Like I'm not seeing what she was seeing because I'm so used to my face looking at a particular way. I mean like I have skincare products to kill you. can see it on the shelf behind me. It's like one, two, three, four. Shelf four. Like 
I have skincare products to kill and my skin was not improving I would be I would be in it okay steaming cleansing exfoliating masking Wednesdays and Sundays purifying the skin tapping full skincare I'm going to my bed greasy like fried chicken and would my skin clear up no it would not because it does not want me to be great but I am 35 came through but on top of that 35 clearing up my skin I now have a monthly cycle a monthly cycle you hear that a monthly which for my guy, he's very happy about it. But I'm not too keen on that. But it's only for seven days. Yeah. But I get a cycle every single month now. So the dad is working well. Um, the last time I went to the doctor, I actually lost, I think, one pound or a pound point five. And he was happy. He was like, that I... The thing with PCOS patients is saying is that it is it is very good when we lose our weight gradually than a big amount of weight because we will put it on back eventually. Which I truly believe in any particular situation like um plans for it. I actually have plans in place for it for me because honestly I would really like to wear a two piece and not be insecure. Even though I think I could get away with a high waist panty. Yeah, most of my bathing suits are one piece because you won't really see it. And people have the audacity to ask you, are you pregnant? I don't know if it's because I have PCOS and how it affects me, but when I see people who are fat, and I won't say fat because when you have PCOS, it's not like you're big and fat. You have the weight in a particular area of your body, which is your stomach. So imagine... You have small arms, small legs, you're naturally small, but you have a big gut. I don't know who that offended, I'm sorry, but your belly big. That is the only part of you that, that is big. You eat clean, you do this, you do that, you do that. your gut still big. It is frustrating. I want people ask you, are you pregnant? You want to clobber them. Like, why are you pregnant has to be a statement. You just feel like you're also free, babe. Especially if we're not on that type of friendship level. Okay? So I try not to judge people when it comes down to body weight. Because I know what I have and I don't know if they have it or something worse. Um, one question you may ask is if people can get pregnant on P2S. With P2S, yes, you can get pregnant because I've read where people... Have gotten pregnant with proper treatment in terms of treating your body right, um, cutting out a few things. For me, cutting out a few things come with discipline because I love ice cream. And if I buy a dairy free ice cream, I'm sure it's going to be filled with sugar. So that is affecting my insulin. So you see the dilemma right there, right? Yeah. So I have a problem, but I'm, 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 I'm trying to work on it, right? So discipline is my issue when it comes on to sticking to a particular diet. Well, if you think of it as a diet, then you won't stick to it. We're trying to convert to a particular lifestyle. Discipline is one of my fall, is where I fall short, and I'm trying to work on it. So, yeah. I think that's it for this video. That's it? Yeah, that's it. If you have any PCOS questions that you want to ask me and how it affects, I can only answer questions if they apply to me. You know, there's an intro that YouTubers say, but let's say I'm no medical expert and the views expressed here are only. Yeah. So if you want to know, if you have PCOS, I even know somebody with PCOS. And you want to say, oh Mel, this happened to you or this to you. Sure. If it happened to me, we say yes. If it never happened, we say no. You get them, baby? Yeah. But if it doesn't affect me, I cannot answer the question because as I 
I said I'm not the mini haul representative. I just can't talk about something that affects me personally. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Um yeah, I hope you took away something even if you don't have it, but you think somebody may have it. Encourage them to just go to the doctor, get checked out. Talk to you again about different methods. I have a I have a really good relationship with my gynecologist. So I I, don't, I, I blatantly said like sir, I'm not taking no more and I peel this. So I'm gonna still walk up one. Is it? Um, I don't want to fix something in me and then I don't feel good. You get what I'm saying? Like, it kind of defeats purpose. I want to feel good all around. I'm not someone that have work stress temporarily. That's like 90% of the time. But you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be taking a pill that makes me uncomfortable. So, yeah. That's it. Hey guys. I hope you watched my last video. I went to the country and I looked. I visited my grandparents. It was a really refreshing. It was really refreshing. Thinking about that video makes me very excited for Christmas. But then things are going to be different with COVID. So we can't have that big family dinner get together or type of energy. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I've gotten some really good responses from it in terms of my views. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Melzy. I'll insert that on the screen. Yes, I will. Um, as you can see, my background is different as stories from my sit down videos. So you can look out for videos that will entail my new living space in terms of decor, cleaning, probably making more stuff on my room. So my headboard behind me didn't buy that it was made by Conscape. I'll insert their handle. Yes. So thank you for watching. Have a good day, a good week. Please be safe and follow the COVID-19 protocols, guys. Okay. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.